It has been said that in football, much like life, there are peaks and valleys. As for the Los Angeles temptation, it was four years of peaks, three championship banners, back to back to back. In 2013, the reign would end. And to whom? Their longtime rival, the Seattle Mist. Los Angeles watched as Seattle celebrated in Los Angeles in front of a devastated crowd and temptation team. The dream of a dynasty died that night. Hell-bent on redemption, L.A. worked tirelessly to earn back their respect. This season, both teams have emerged as part of the elite in the West. Seattle, with its size, experience, and perhaps the most respected coach in all of the LFL. You know, you just got this thing for the black and silver, you just can't stand it. It's like the old Seahawks and Raiders uh, rivalry back in the 80s. Same thing holds true here. I have a lot of respect for Michelson, but there's no way that I'm going to be outcoached by him tonight. I'm ready to win. Los Angeles, with its experience, franchise quarterback, and potential Hall of Fame middle linebacker. Oh, you bitch ass punk! Oh, you know, it's always Ashley. And anytime you have Salerno back there at the quarterback position, you know, you, you really got to change your entire defense. Uh, she's just a pretty much a one, one woman show, and, and uh, they've got a lot of weapons around her, so, you know, we're just going to play solid discipline defense. Redemption is not only tempting, it is mandatory. The stage was set for one of the LFL's epic clashes. They're gonna fucking feel you, cause you're gonna run through Mo Gaxiola all fucking night and put her on her fucking ass. Yeah. Shut her the fuck up tonight. Much like ancient Rome, to the winner goes the spoils. In this case, the playoffs. Time, right here, right now. Right here, right now. Dear God, our fathers, help me to wisely use these gifts that and talents that you have so graciously bestowed upon me. A strong desire to never quit, no matter what the odds or what the fucking team. From the opening snap, it was clear. On this night, the pirates were seeking a bounty. That bounty on Seattle's head. You better knock the fucking shit out of her, you hear me? You better knock the fucking shit out of her! I told you two things would kill you this fucking game. Penalties, non-discipline, and fucking mistakes. The only other thing I can do is go out and be in the fucking uniform and play for you. I go over and over and over what the fuck we're supposed to do, our assignments. That scoreboard is gonna light the fuck up if you stay on your heels. This is embarrassing. With one half left, Seattle made a final push to save their season. That motherfucker in the end zone. We need this point, okay?
As Seattle's season came to a finish, not all was lost. Play when you get your all, you ain't got no reason to be upset. It's just not your turn. The end of the road does not define the end of the journey. We can go back to the hotel and we can all cry and have a pity party. Guess what? The scoreboard will remain the same. Hopefully you guys never ever lose touch with each other. Okay, hopefully you build from this forever. Okay? And this is something you talk 30 years down the line when you're talking to yes. your grandkids and you're telling you how you were the pioneers that built women's football. You are the league of their own. For LA, the journey continues. Their most hated rival, the Chicago Bliss, stands in the way of their shot at the title. Whether it was the reemergence of the best quarterback in the game, or the birth of the next power back, tonight, as the championship banners hang above the Coliseum floor, it became evident that the true gladiators were wearing silver and black.